Hey folks, how you doing? Good morning! Uh, it is 8.33 a.m. in um, Chicago, Illinois. And um, we are at Chicago Ord. Uh, this is your free view. Uh, hello all members, how are you doing? Of course, I'm going to be reading out the um, comments uh, which are highlighted in green uh, with my members. But um, of course, all you free viewers are more than welcome to join in the chat. Uh, my members will be um, uh, chatting, answering questions. And, and, you know, don't get me wrong, I don't completely ignore the free view uh, uh, comments and chat. I do glance at it from time to time and sort of like, I'm interesting. Because um, there's a lot of very knowledgeable people out there. And we were all free viewers once, folks, let's face it. Um, we have got what appears to be. What is that? Oh, blimey. Hello. Now that's their new, well, I'd say new, it was um, MSC uh, line, as in, as in the shipping line, MSC Cargo 777, 200 freighter. Wow, look at that. July this year, she was, she was uh, delivered by the looks of it. I just met with Blair, um, BBLLB, otherwise known as, on our channel. Um, he's a member, loves watching the channel, doesn't watch telly anymore other than the sports channels, and um, tunes in all the time, and um, his kids love the show as well. So, uh, big shout out to Blair and all the kids. He's on his way to check in now because he's flying out uh, at 10.15 or something like that. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. 10.05, there we go. So it's a little uh, prelude to um, to our good friend Blair. Okay, American 2675 to Seattle. And he's putting in for the, uh, for the Dreamliner seat out of Chicago. This is kind of the route that he's gonna take as well. A little rehearsal for Blair. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so that is the second of MSCs. Uh, thank you, Anita. Second of MSC. Oh, I've got a couple of big heavies coming out as well. That's nice. I've moved myself a little bit further to the left this morning, folks. Quite, uh, quite misty. Um, City jet, sort of like. uh, James Hasty. Good morning, everybody. Uh, no, it's not warm. A little bit of a, a, a cool breeze, cold breeze, I've got to say. Um, but the sun is going to it's going to be a bit like yesterday the gloves are on but the gloves are going to be off uh, a little bit later on i'd imagine bit of a shame there was some rain overnight which um, meant that obviously the conditions were quite damp this morning um, but unfortunately everything's dried out now so we don't have any of the um wet runway action that we were that we were hoping for it's Last in the air out the side of the engines. Another step closer, folks, to uh, to the Zurich show. Um, I've. Uh, I've linked up with um, the media team or the media representative at Zurich now. She is, uh, she's on my list of contacts, um, which is, um, we'd been chatting on email, but sort of like briefly, uh, but now she's, um, 
She's jumped on my LinkedIn page. Oh, let me just move this on on standby. Say it there, then. Just, uh, I have to use that for my counterbalance weight. David Sheffield, it is me. Who else would it be? Glenn's Aviation Love, Jeanette Haynes, uh, Steve B, Claire Bear, James Watson, um, bleary, bleary, bleary eyed um, uh, viewers this morning, members, uh, having stayed with us till the early hours yesterday. And what happened? As soon as we stopped the camera rolling, Coletta Jumbo went out. <laughs> it's just typical, isn't it? We've got a bit of uh, ingestion moisture going on here. So this is what Blair's hoping for. It's for the uh, London run on the Dreamliner. Mark Reed is a new member. Welcome to First Class, Mark. I didn't see quite clearly whether that is new or a, or a um, returning member. I think it's a, a new member. Welcome, Mark. And of course, welcome to all our uh, newly... Um... Well, there you go, you see that sun. Bang! It's right there, isn't it? Mystify. Keep it calm, Jerry. Keep it calm. It's going to be a long day, son. Um, I think that whole MSC um, aircraft, um, because obviously they're a huge shipping line, aren't they, MSC Cargo? Um, got their own big ships as well. I think some of the biggest um, cargo ships, container ships, are with MSC Cargo. Um, and of course, sort of joining the rest of them and uh, purchasing a couple of um, brand new trip well they are brand new triple seven freighters aren't they Brian Pounders gifted a membership thank you Brian as well as Steve B gifting a membership thank you Steve thank you Brian thank you everybody um, Blair is going to be taxiing um, out of uh, one of these gates here apparently they back it up 10 feet just 10 feet and then they crank it right. Uh, they've got blast walls there, just like that. Just like that. That's another rehearsal for, for Blair. <laughs> just put it all together. <laughs> Nigel Gale uh, by 777 F is quite new, registered July 2023, yes indeed. Um, hoping that the conditions will uh, improve a little bit in terms of the viz, folks. Uh, sure it will. And another thing that Blair uh, 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 confirmed with me today, which was quite interesting, uh, the boys and girls with the de-icing teams are out there quite early, look. 
on that. What a what a what better platform to to train on than a lovely old 727. Mohammed Bayat gifted a membership. Thank you, Mohammed. That's very kind of you. Um, Mank Red. Um, now, it's an interesting thing that I that I I suddenly thought of. You know, I don't know whether it was uh, one of my uh, one hourly intervals of waking up last night. Um, was uh, Sutter, okay, the 747 uh, design team leader, okay, um, was pulled off of one of the uh, production lines, and I think it might have been the 727. Can somebody confirm that with me? I don't know. Adrian Cox has gifted five memberships. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, might get a bit of uh, fire training for fire uh, today here. Uh, saw it yesterday. It was quite aggressive, I've got to say. Texas Taco 747 inbound. Oh, please come in on this runway. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, you see, I call it. I've always said Texas Taco, Jilly, haven't I? I? I never say Texas Taco, do I? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Because I think that if an Englishman says taco, he sounds absolutely so lovely, you know. What are you having for lunch, George? I'm having a taco. It's a taco, isn't it? <laughs> well, it depends on where you come from. But if you're American, fair enough, it's taco. Because it just is. But for English, for somebody like me, you don't get... Um... You know, if it's a scouser, you guess it's a taco, isn't it? You know, it's a sacco. It's not sacco. <laughs> oh, God, what was that? oh wow! Look at that big, uh, big flock of geese heading this way, man. That's not good. That's not good. They must have to tackle this, deal with this, on a daily basis as these geese head out um, to their uh, to their munching grounds. Tony Rivers, we're not on TikTok. <laughs> Tony Rivers, wider than a smile. <laughs> Belongs on Radio 2, mate. Should have taken Bruce's uh, place. Uh, yeah. Hogalux, Texas Taco telling me. Nice. These are great, these departures. Great position here. Um, how long is it going to be? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't realise it was that close. Nipping egg. Gen X engines, man. The power of two Dreamliners right there, folks. By the power of Gen X. Zero Cool is a new member. Zero, I'm saying zero because it's X-E-R-O, but uh, X, I'm gonna call him Zero Cool. Uh, Mick Oram has gifted five memberships. Thanks, Mick. Cool, thanks. Found Jerry and love the content. <laughs> He's been searching, searching, looking for love. John Thane, Jumbo Time. Yeah, well, there's one of them, folks. 
kind of missed it, but got it. Missed the touchdown, which is uh, always... Uh, oh, OK, Aiden telling us at the triple seven uh, freighter nine minutes away. Now, that's interesting. Have we seen an Atlas Air 777 freighter yet? Um, they've got a new one, haven't they? They've got the new, uh, the new livery with Atlas Air, which is completely different than the, um, than the, than the current um, Atlas Air livery. I think I'm right there. Dustin Jackson, beautiful queen. Uh, thank you, Aidan, Roger, Lynn. Apparently that, uh, it's nine minutes away, that freighter. Radio Ninja is a new member. Welcome, Radio Ninja. Tonight on Radio Ninja. Keith Clegg, we missed Boeing 747s come to DSA. DSA. Mark B, C, L, E, Nigel Oliver, good day to you, Andrew McInnes, Christopher Madden's, uh, Christopher Madison, sorry. Uh, I'm autistic, had my first ever flight yesterday going from Stansted to Belfast on Ryanair. I'm officially popped my aviation cherry. There we go. Congratulations, my friend. And I uh, hope it was good. Yeah, that, that, that TikTok's a fake account, folks. Nothing to do with us. It's been up there for ages as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the other one as well. There's another one as well. What, what's it? What's the name of the, the, the other platform? Um, uh, kids ones, and it's all the kids in it. Moved over a little bit to the left here this morning, folks, just to uh, just to give you a better view of the international terminal. What's the other? Oh, nice. Nice low cloud bust there. Yeah, great bank shots. Out of this runway. Uh, Avro Arrow has gifted a membership. Thank you. Thank you, Avro. Very kind of you. Nigel Oliver has also gifted a membership. Um, FedEx station here on the right, folks. Um, wow. So hopefully we might have a, a FedEx arrival. Got anything FedEx-y coming in? Uh, long range over there, very long range, is one of the cargo um, ramps or pads, um, which we'll see probably a couple of uh, 747. Now, here's an interesting thing uh, that uh, Blair um, mentioned to me earlier on, and that is that apparently, okay, because we've, remember yesterday we were talking about um, aircraft being pushed back and, um, and taxiing under their own power uh, from, the, from the passenger gate slash terminal round to um, a, a remote park, parking stand. Um, it is not the pilots, and understandably so, because sometimes this is like hours, or at least an hour, after the aircraft has docked at the, uh, at the, at the terminal. Um, so the pilots are long gone. Apparently they have qualified engineers that um, taxi these aircraft. They push the aircraft back. They start all the engines. Um, I did say, well, surely um, the um, surely the, uh, uh, the the four engine jets, like the 747s, 346s, etc., are, are, uh, are they, they run them on two? No, no. Apparently, they run them on four engines, uh, and they taxi 
uh, they taxi the aircraft, these engineers, uh, technicians, mechanics, whatever you want to call them. Um, but um, yeah, very interesting, isn't it? That, uh, you know, I mean, that must, that must be a great job. You know. Olympus Shooter has gifted a membership. Thank you, Olympus. What we got coming in, folks? It's quite a uh, 747 Jumbo. Got McDonald's in Terminal One. Quite interesting. Uh, see, that's the uh, that's the not intercepting, but that runway there, that top runway there. Was it Blair yesterday who said something about the, the, the taxiing uh, uh, procedures here at, at, uh, at uh, 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 Chicago? Um, it's kind of uh, overwhelming sometimes for new pilots or uh, who, who... I just want to see this one climb out. Office Blue, good afternoon to you. That uh, cargo lux jet is probably going to taxi all the way through um, via the terminal buildings and uh, right over to the other section we talked about earlier on. Christopher Madison gifting a membership. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, Aidan Campbell, uh, 777 on final approach into 28 Centre. Okay, so that's the, um, yeah, that's going to be the other one, isn't it? Okay, so we're not going to get that on this. That's a, that's a small jet, isn't it? Oh no, oh, no, it's a 767. Is it? 757, sorry. I should, uh, should know better from the big uh, spindly legs on him. Meredith Jane has gifted five memberships. Thank you, Meredith. Um, so yeah, fire training uh, department is uh, kind of uh, it's there, isn't it? It's is it is it just over there? Yeah, just there. Um, Transport in Kent. Thank you, seven five seven Lance D. Confirm seven five seven. Ian Morrison. Wow, look at that thing split that cloud apart, man. Look at that. How cool is that? There's got to be something that's either descending into Chicago or I don't know, but look, look, he split that cloud right up. <coughs> I'm imagining that that's. Uh... I prefer window in front of the engines, John Pierce saying. I think we all do, John. Uh, the only problem with that is that uh, it's difficult these days to get uh, a window in front of the engine because everything is uh, everything forward of the wing is um, is the posh seats in it. Aiden Campbell, Japan Airlines, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, eight minutes. Uh, Fizo or Fizo videos. Yes, we do have a map Fizo. Um, do we have, let's just have a little look and see whether we've got David Mead, complex layout must make ATC a nightmare. Well, obviously they're, you know, heavily trained and also I, I, I don't know whether the, um, whether the, uh, um, uh, the rosters are such that they maybe are slightly less than, um, than other, uh, Okay, we've got triple seven on the finals into this runway. I think that's a triple, isn't it? Yeah, Atlas Air, there we go. Oh, she's blank. She's, oh, I think we have seen an Atlas Air. Um, unmarked, the unmarked tonight.
Lord Jason Matten, Kenya Airways, is to increase frequency from 10 to 20 on its route between Nairobi and London Heathrow from the end of October. 10 to 20? Uh, is that operations per week? Does that mean two a day or... Uh... And Savage never seen so many planes in all directions. It's cra it is crazy. You kind of have to just figure out what's going on half the time. Sananda, all's good. Yeah, we've got that. I got that, Sananda. Don't worry, I'm not going to miss that. It's going to be a. Uh... Got a bit of, uh, got a bit of uh, moisture vortex trails off of the. Uh, the flaps there. Nigel Gale, at the set. Don't forget your coffee, son. Don't forget your coffee. One of the benefits of being in the RC, of course. Um, mind you, I, it always does amaze me when uh, when the when the aircraft comes to uh, comes to a stop. You know, everyone jumps up quickly, go, go quickly. I've got to get up there. Go, get you. Oh, I'm just going to stand here for another five or ten minutes, am I? <laughs> Sit down, relax, chill out. Um, you know, um, people are generally um, very courteous in terms of. you know, uh, allowing you, even if, even if the, you've been standing, they've been standing there for five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever, you get out of your seat, get to the uh, overhead bin, get your bag out and off you go. Uh, it's quite low cloud there. It's a little, a little bank of low cloud, which is coming towards me here. It's, uh, Okay, okay, this time we got it. <laughs> oh, nice bit of floofage, man. Oh, yeah, we've got some floofage here. Easy, easy. Freight dog. Wow, how cool was that? Okay, so heavy stuff. Because of that moisture that's sort of like moving in, from the east, I think it is. Is that going to uh, give us some um, some artistic visuals? Family Fun RC is a free striper. Welcome back, Family Fun. Lorraine Gill is a new member. Welcome, Lorraine, uh, joining first class. Big gen team. Down the seaside, Jilly. <laughs> uh, oh, I know he's coming over. Yeah. Look, he's a happy jet, isn't he? He's coming up here. Hello, big lad. Lord Jason Matton, United, yeah. United placed uh, quite a big order, so obviously in a, um, a restructuring program in terms of their fleet. Okay, listen out for these RB211s. Uh, oh, sorry, GE90 115Ps. <laughs> Just say anything, Jerry. <laughs> it's going to go all the way up to here, I think, and then go all the way round. Like we saw that uh, that jet yesterday.
Rachel. I do like the look of a freighter in all white. When? Love the sound of the just the sound of the air. <laughs> Uh, you know, if there's if there's you know one operation that doesn't you know necessitate a uh, uh, a, a livery is a, is a is a freighter in it really. At the end of the day, um, oh mate, hold on a minute, let me get that shot. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Kenny. Um, it's just about it's just about it, it, the, the, the issue. Obviously, is uh, is having the time to uh, to take the aircraft off the line and, and paint them because uh, when they're uh, when they're off the line and being painted, they're not earning any money. It's as simple as that. So you know, it's a um, It's not like where you take your car into the paint shop and potentially sometimes the um, the paint shop will give you a loan car or something like that. But even um, even having your car sprayed can take uh, depends on what what work needs to be done. Um, it's very rare that you have your car fully resprayed. Obviously, it's only when you have a um, have a ding. See how far over that car galax jumbo's had to go. Massive taxi. 
Now we will no doubt catch that going out later. I bleeding hope so anyway. <laughs> hope we don't miss it. This looks like something decent. 757 is it? Come on son, get it in focus, get it in focus mate, get it in focus. Come on. Oh it's a gel dream run, was it? Oh. <laughs> Should have been able to see by those wings, man. It's still early doors, isn't it? I need my brain to warm up. <laughs> 747 Jumbo, yes indeed. Aircraft is a work tool. You can have your book to have your car done when you've got either a couple of days off or you know when you're on holiday or something you can let the garage have the car um, so it's the um, red on the uh, that was just the sliders See the intakes for the uh, ice packs there under the wing valance. Very noisy part of the aircraft when you're uh, when you're walking um, around underneath a, a 787 is uh, around those ice packs. Very very noisy. Anthony Teal, United in Brea, five minutes out. John Pierce. Looking forward to, um, going to be breaking around about 12.30 today folks, got uh, Ian from Flight Radar 24 coming out to uh, to meet me, It'll be nice to see him. Aidan Campbell, United 958 from Heathrow, one hour 51 minutes out. It's the flying time for, uh, flying time for, uh, for my aircraft inbound to uh, Chicago. It's, it's got to be leaving soon, isn't it, Jilly? Seven plus hour um, flight time. Um, my Nick Nick, um, mine, mine, Nick, my Nick Nick, my Nick Nick. Uh, flown in a JAL 787-9 before in economy. Uh, seats are very spacious and comfortable with very polite and helpful cabin crew. Honest, um, the uh, you know the uh, Asian cabin crews are very uh, always very helpful and uh, really de it does depend on what uh, what aircraft what, what what airline you're flying with really I mean they're, you know de well, they're all the same to be honest with you they're not like you know um, angry airlines what do you want I just wanted to see if I could get a bottle of water no sit down okay <laughs> you know. It's, it don't work like that, it's, uh, but you know, um, I, I'm sure that there have been people who've possibly flown with um, Japan Airlines and maybe had a, 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 a not so good in experience. It really does depend a lot on the day um, in terms of you know um, who's managing the uh, who's managing the, the cabin on the day. Lots of training. They're preparing for uh, for winter conditions uh, here, folks.
Okay. It is called Felicia, we mentioned that yesterday. Okay. Oh man, look at that for a Tonka toy. Fire department. Oh, got a heavy coming out. Is this a little Embraer? Little set of CF thirty fours on. Make a noise. Oh, listen to that thing. Aiden Campbell board. Weather conditions overcast. Temperature thirteen degrees. Seven mile an hour winds at two zero zero. Okay, well, I just have to deal with it. Low now, isn't it? It's getting lower and lower. Brian Henry loved the growl, yeah. That was so uh, united, wouldn't it? Therefore, that would be Pratt and Whitney PW 4000s. No, Martin. Rentals absolutely fine. It's right behind me. Gillian Sankey, good afternoon to you. Good morning. Uh, Craig Gerrard, nice lift off. Uh, Aidan Campbell, elevation is only 205 meter. Denver is 1656. Wow. Is that above sea level here where we are? Um, so that's probably the, um, I'd imagine, coming off the, coming off the lakes, isn't it? Oh, don't forget 917, not far off from uh, Blair, GP. Uh, David Mead, yes, I'm on the 380 tonight. So the plan is to basically hang around until it arrives <laughs> and then um, <coughs> get the hell out of here. Um, I'll, I'll have long enough. I think, it's, I think it's, it's, it lands about, what is it, landing about six something. Um, yeah, just after six, and my flight's not till like, yeah, yeah. Um, Anita, one of the all spill response 727s flew over my house yesterday from Humberside to South End. Yeah, aren't they parked down at South End now, the uh, all uh, oil response team? Um, we did a show with them. Um, we did sh a show with those 2XL isn't it um, and uh, interestingly enough they've been in operation for many many years but they've uh, never uh, used those 727s in anger um, or used them for what they're supposed to be used for apart from uh, uh, training missions where they 
uh, just drop water. Um, Roxy Simmons, I do sometimes question myself on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you what keeps me going, man. It's 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 you guys. I, I couldn't I couldn't stand here for eight hours and um, and uh, and just film planes all day long. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, blimey, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Kitty Cat Chat! Welcome Kitty Cat Chat, uh, as a new member on Big Jet TV. That is a max, ladies and gentlemen. Or the 787-10, uh, I think, as, uh, or 78, sorry, 73710, as, uh, as um, our good friends at Boeing would like to uh, call it, I think. Um, See, look how that's that's not long gone out of that runway there, and this one is crossing that runway. So um, coordination has to be spot on with the uh, with the tower. Cray Sherrard, uh, Ranchi seven forty seven Jumbo, uh, BA two nine. Is it two nine six? I'm going out tonight. 296 tonight. BA 296 is my flight number. Really stumpy little thing. Uh, Glenn's Aviation Love, how many runways are in active uh, service at the moment? One, two, three, four, I think, maybe four active runways um, currently in service. I think they were, they were running five runways yesterday. Good job we got. Oh yeah, do you want to put the map up, GP? Okay, folks, going to put the map up quick. Stand by. Kevin Beasley. Excited to be a member as I love Jerry's live streams. Thank you very much, Kitty Cat. So there's your map, folks. Look at the green lines. <laughs> they are runways. Can you believe it? I mean, that is just insane, isn't it? Um, so the uh, the bottom one on the right hand side is the diagonal one that I'm looking at, um, right the way up the other end of the field, which starts up at the fashion the fashion district area. Um, we've got a little runway. You see my little icon there, that little me, uh, down on the left-hand um, corner, um, the far bottom left-hand corner. That's the position that I'm at. If you go on Google Earth, you can, you can clearly see this big, huge pad here, which wasn't here last time, I have to say. It was all grass. Um, so we're very fortunate. This is sort of like a, um, um, a, a pad that they use for aggregate and, uh, and um, uh, just, you know, just, just um, temporary um, uh, disposal of things or whatever. Um, but anyway, see the bottom runway uh, and that is 2, 8 left and uh, 10 right. Uh, that triple seven just taxied up that way, as you can see there. They did use that last time we were here, but very, very briefly. And then we've got the um, we've got the two eight center and the two eight right runways, which are uh, which are the ones that we are mostly active on. Two eight center is the landing runway. Two eight right is the departure runway. And then right the way over the other side through everything. You see uh, two seven left, two seven centre, and uh, two seven right, which is literally bleeding miles away. Uh, crazy. Um, okay, GP, do you want to put the take the map off because I think we have a rather decent jet inbound here. 
It's like triple seven. Or is it a dream line? That is a Korean triple seven. I need to. I think I might need to change the settings on the camera just because I'm not getting a good. Uh, yeah, struggling a little bit until it's at least down to this point here. Ah, oh, yeah, we're getting this floofage. Yeah, we need to change the settings so I can get the floofage on the short finals. My Nick Nick, don't miss the triple seven. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got it, mate. Lord Jason Matted, eight runways in the UK for London Heathrow is complaining about getting a third. Well, yeah, the domestic stuff, it's, it's, it's a different sort of like logistical thing that we're talking about here. And, you know, in terms of the domestic stuff that goes out of here, how big America is in terms of, you know, the, the domestic um, routes and connections that they have. Uh, if I only had two runways in operation here. Well, mind you, you know, it just, it just, it just all ball down to the, uh, down to the, 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 the connectivity, the, the, the location and all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, Gillian Sankey, ATC must be crazy with all these runways. Well, Gillian, there are a number of towers here. Um, two main towers split, uh, both sides of the airfield um, there is a main tower here which um, stands proud over the main terminus uh, we've got one further right the way across the other side of the airfield um, Aidan Campbell something just landed on 27 right that far runway let me just quickly change this to that um, let's see if that's made it any better. Not really. A little bit of um, uh, moisture trailing off the off the inboard flaps. So, right over the other side there, you can see there's a there's a tower over there which controls the uh, the two sevens, I think. Um, that guy there's possibly just touched down on the uh, on one of the two sevens. You've got that intersecting uh, diagonal runway as well over the other side as well, which I haven't seen being used at this point. Oh, there we go. Richard Salin, AMP mechanics are trained to operate aircraft during a license by the FAA to taxi. Um, it's been that way for a long time. Goes along with the pace of aircraft movement. Towing is too slow. Wow, that's crazy, isn't it? Towing is too slow. This is just... wow. I just uh, it's an interesting. Um... James and everybody talking about storms at Heathrow. There's not, it's going to be rain, folks. It's going to be rain. It's, 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 it, it's. Yeah, the maximum gust for tomorrow is 16 mile an hour, folks. Um, and give me a break, please. I need to, I need a day's recovery at least. I'm 60 years old, give or take a few months. <laughs> I need a bit of uh, I need a bit of downtime just to get my body to recover. So uh, you know, 
course there will be a show on Sunday. takeoff roll uh, on that runway everything went off engines lights and we rolled to a stop on the on the runway blimey rolled to a stop didn't have brakes what power literally someone pulled the plug out literally blimey that's frightening Sandra all good supposed to be a 788 but some of the things cut off. Is that, um, is that eight, 787 8 uh, there's, there's one up on the long that's right over the other side I think that's uh, up on the far is that the western runway northern runway yeah it's north in it Um, might get to see a little bit of um, fire training action. The place will be, um, there'll be ground towers as well. There's a ground tower there, isn't it? That's one of the ground movement towers. Obviously, that's the main tower that we're talking about there. There's another tower there, which I'm not sure um, whether that is, uh, I don't think that's a, uh, uh, um, a sort of like, um, uh, I think that might be a ground movement tower as well. I'm not sure. Um, actually, I'll tell you what, there's another tower there. I think that one. I think that tower there maybe um, controls uh, the four. Uh, is it four? Two two left and four right. So that that uh, that tower there, yeah. And then of course we've got one right over the other side there, um, which is uh, for the twenty sevens, the two seven. weather warnings are all up the north and down the east coast so there we go folks um, yeah Scotland's gonna get battered again I think but you know I don't think Heathrow or the uh, or around where we are is gonna um, really see hey look at the end of the day I'm arriving early tomorrow morning and we've done it before where I've uh, where, where, where something's happened didn't it Jilly where I got home and I literally uh, went straight out yeah. What was that for? Yeah. Oh, because it was windy. That was it. Yeah, yeah. So got back from, I think it was JFK. Uh, Jilly picked me up. Straight home. Tr dumped the bag. Stroked the cat. Out in the van. Straight back out to the uh, to the paddock for, for a windy show. But, uh, and so, so, so trust me, folks, if it happens, um, you know, my heart is in it. The passion is there. Uh, if it's windy and it's and it's worthy, we'll do it, man. We'll do it. Uh, UPS 767 Freighter, 28 minutes, Aidan Campbell. I think that'll come in on this runway. Bobby. 
sleek jet. These things are like flying in a mini, I'm telling you. It's so cramped inside those CRJs. I flew on one up to, um, up to um, Anchorage, didn't I? I seem to recall. Glenn's Aviation Transport in Kent. Loving the stream today. Terry Ashworth. Uh, M6 Matty. Uh, Jimmy G61. Yes, I will be. Uh, I will most definitely. It's a night flight tonight um, with BA, which is great because it allows me, it gives me the opportunity to catch up. And one thing that was quite interesting that, uh, that Blair said earlier on, uh, that's BBLLB, um, one of our members on Big Jet TV. Um, he mentioned that uh, the um, the great thing is that he's, he's putting in to try and get onto the 787 Dreamliner. He's no interest in being doing the captaincy on uh, on the on the uh, 737s. He wants to go uh, get on the on the 787 Dreamliner and head to London. Um, because it's a two-day stop and not a three-day stop, which um, which makes it easier in terms of um, recovery from jet lag, or for, for, for actually not having any jet lag. Which kind of works with me, um, the recovery time is, is 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 pretty pretty quick uh for me returning from the us uh, on the east coast is that something half decent coming in on the uh it is isn't it from istanbul turkish 787 let's just have a little look and see if we can get a oh it's a 350 is it okay sorry Maybe I'll get my um, aircraft recognition right uh, by the end of the day. <laughs> Come on, let's get some... Struggling with those, uh, those lights. Here we go. So what are you all doing then? You can't, surely not everyone's uh, got the day off today or... Um, watching at work. Colin Dutton. Aviation in 4K, good afternoon, good evening to you. Uh, screaming Emu, you land at midnight your time on Monday. You leave at midnight your time two days later. How is that good for your health? Okay, I need to read that again. Land at midnight your time on Monday. Hold on a minute. Is he talking about me or is he talking about in general? So, so I took off um, in the afternoon, didn't I? And I landed in the, in the, I stayed awake. I stayed awake for the whole flight. I uh, didn't sleep at all because I knew that I'd be landing here in the early, in the late afternoon slash early evening. So because I didn't need to go to the cell store and get the cards, I knew that I was able to go straight to the hotel, literally. Um, and, uh, and go to sleep, uh, which means that uh, I got a full night's sleep, woke up the next morning relatively well refreshed, uh, i.e. yesterday, um, worked yesterday, uh, did eight hours. Uh, oh, he's talking about, uh, okay, not me, okay. <laughs> okay, he's talking about a typical transcontinental pilot, Okay, yeah, but, 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 
Yeah, but you have to be fully rest, rested, don't you? Um, there's rules and regulations, isn't there? It's, you're not put out partying in the night before, are you? You, you, you have to be fully rested. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a lot of people, um, you know, if you, if you lead a relatively healthy lifestyle and you're not out partying all the time and, um, you know, your body's sort of like gets used to it. It's not like it's, it's being permanently disrupted. Uh, if you're a, if you're flying um, an international route, you're uh, yeah. For as long as you get the sleep, you know, really, it's just yeah. And again, like I say, if it's two days as opposed to three or maybe longer, you know, because um, you know, back in the days, they, you know, I remember like, with, you know, some of the inter in, the. the Intercontinental flight, you get like you know four or five days at the uh, at the at the um, at your destination. Oh, who we got here? Who we got today? Ah, licky dee licky dee licky dee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, didn't realise yesterday when I was when I was when I, when we were looking for the um, for the for, for the the thumbnail um, yesterday it was um, I was flicking through the show blimey some great shots and that panther I think it was a panther well, no, no, it's a leopard wasn't it it's was a leopard um, on the back of the front frontier jet clear as day wow look at the smoke coming out of the back of that thing man Pratt and Whitney's John Walton needs a day in bed after flying back from Europe. <laughs> One hour difference. Brilliant. This should growl. Watch the gear tilt. So there you go, somebody uh, mentioning. Caroline Teague uh, has very kindly gifted 10 memberships. Thanks, Caroline. Thank you so much. Yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's the individual, isn't it? It's, a, it's your, uh, it's, it's how you sort of like, address it deal with it um uh, uh, approach it in your head in terms of you know um in terms of um fatigue isn't it more than anything else uh, with, with 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 the uh, yeah, you know. i think regardless of how fit you are or how you know how good your diet is and all those sorts of things it's um you, you, you is that something over the top of me? Interesting what Blair we were talking about. That Screaming Emu will... Uh, probably um, uh, understand what we're talking about here in terms of the the shaft of the um, of, of the oh is that the oh, it's probably going to remote um, the shaft the main shaft of the of the engine 
of the uh, Leap engine and also uh, the Pratt and Whitney, I'd imagine both of them. Uh, the reason why they take so long to spool up uh, compared to the old CFM 56s and uh, etc., um, is because it has a flexible shaft and they need to spin the engine up until it gets it, it gets enough heat in it so that the shaft can straighten up um, and uh, and then they uh, bring it up to the N2 I think it is the uh, the, 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 um, the pressures and all that sort of stuff after sort of um, uh, match correctly uh, in order for them to you know inject the fuel so you get that Whereas, uh, you know, it's a lot quicker on the IAEs and the CFMs, the old CFMs. Ian Morrison, gorgeous A350, train sporting kit. So good. Done it for five years, yeah. <laughs> well, I've done it for longer than five years, haven't I? Uh, it's getting on for seven years now that I've been doing this, so kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, yeah. Tim Rotunda, don't think I'd want to be a captain on any airliner and FO gets the flying, uh, gets the flying, less paperwork and much less responsibility. I don't know. Uh, oh, hello. We've got a fire, fire, fire! Here we go. Oh my God, the airport's on fire. <laughs> that is training, folks. Don't worry. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Dave Mack loves how the 350 glides into land. Terry Ashworth retired after 62 years grafting. Yes, I can see why you think that. Uh, 747, Jerry, do you plan to retire? <laughs> no. <laughs> I honestly, and I'm not joking, I cannot see myself not doing the, what I'm doing. Because although it is a business, it's a job, um, it's, um, it's like if I was to, I mean, how can you retire from something like this? Right, see you, thanks for everything. Um, I'm off. <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, Screaming me, we arrive around 6 a.m. in London and depart around 8 a.m. So that's between midnight and 2 a.m. our time. Yeah, but can you, do you sort of like, um, work on that in terms of uh, but mind you yes i mean you do don't you because i did when i arrived here um because it was an odd time for me if i'm t if i'm if i'm if i'm leaving at uh, what time did i depart london julie it was about three o'clock wasn't it three four o'clock something like that if i get on the plane then i'd have to wait for um uh, like uh, six hours before I can go to sleep because I normally go to sleep around about 10 o'clock at night and then I then I have to wake up an hour later uh, feeling completely sort of like you know what the hell's going on um, and then then go to the hotel and then go back to sleep again uh, you just sort of like need to plan your plan your brain don't you <laughs> I guess something like that anyway I don't know am I doing it wrong <laughs> Sarah C has gifted five memberships. Thanks, Sarah. <sighs> Martin Smith and no cats, Jeremy, is that? Live my live my life without cats being in my life. 
Nick Gray. Brutal on rhythm, but you get Sunday roast at the pub. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had a Sunday roast, yeah, what's that? Team Rotunda, I had far too much responsibility for too long in my career and to not have much at all as look, looking at the time and soon. And yes, screaming him, you're also sleeping in a hotel in the afternoon, good luck with that. Well, if you're tired enough. Oh, far, far! Um, if you're tired enough. Blimey, that went out quick. Flipping heck. That went out very quick. Um, yeah, I could, uh, all I can recommend is uh, a good set of um, foam uh, ear inserts and uh, eye mask. Uh, one of the 3D, very nicely padded eye masks. Um, Always a good thing to uh, to take with you on your travels. I certainly do. And a good set of noise cancelling headphones, which uh, I also have. Which um, I have to say, when I bought this set, which are very very cheap uh, compared to like you know you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds on them or anything like that. It's got three settings on it. You hit the fret set, the, the noise cancelling uh, setting. It's, it's like all of a sudden I can't hear anymore. You know, it's very peculiar. We've got Caroline Teague. Did I? Gifting 10 memberships there. Uh, Avro Arrow talking about the um, the, 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 the 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 paid versus the free level of Flight Radar 24 it really does depend on what you want what you want to see. Uh, and I think yes, the the uh, that the um, you know uh, I think that the the the, the, uh, the free version is 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 really good. Flight Radar 24. Uh, but then again, of course, the paid version also gives you uh, some incredible sort of like... ...options. I think on free, I think on free you can get the... Uh, you can get the... Um, you can get the... the, the, the um, can you get the 3D one on free? Uh, not 3D, what's it called? The, Oh, we got we got Blair on radar, radar folks. BBLLB is on radar, folks. We did say uh, that we'd um, get him on free view. So I uh, don't know if his kids are watching. I think they're at school. They're probably going to be at school. The missus might be watching. I don't know. But um, anyway, time stamp it, GP. Okay, so BBLLB, I think Blair is at, uh, he said the gate is, uh, I think that might be him there, GP. Uh, one of those two, one of those two I think he's at. I think he's at one of those two there. Jane Alcock's husband gets jet lag from Gatwick to Glasgow. <laughs> Brilliant. ADHK, wonder how it possible. Oh, Blair's proud mama is watching. Hey, 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 old mother. 
Uh, can you hear me, Mother? Uh, wondering how possible it would be to set up and stream near Southeast Asian airports. I enjoyed the Japan streams. Wonder if any more Asian destinations are on the cards. Well, AD, uh, you can, well, we do have a, uh, well, we do have an Australian stream coming up. Well, it's not Asian, is it? Uh, but it is down in the Far East, isn't it? Uh, it is the Australian, Australasian um, sector or, um, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going back to Tokyo, no doubt about it. We want to go to, um... yeah, I can't see anything from here. Um, but uh, that's a nice 757 there, look. Well, he pointed to it, Jilly. He said, that's the gate there. He said that it's around about there. Oh, hold on a minute, it might be that one there. Uh, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to see anything from this, from this range. I think it's one of those two there. Beyond it, as in to the left of it, or yeah, stand by. I love that colour scheme, man. I love that colour scheme. Um, all right. So is that the open jet coming out, or is he? Uh, I think he's coming out, isn't he? Seven five seven. Big spindly leg seven five seven. J Mank Daddy Funk is a new member. He's gonna get funky with it. Uh, thanks, J-Mac. Great to see you here. Welcome to Big Jet TV. Tony Cook has gifted 10 memberships. Tony, that's a very kind thing to do. Thank you, my friend. Nick Woodward uh, gifting five memberships as well. And of course, we've got Caroline as well gifting those 10. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Now look here, Wilson. Take care. Okay, um, let's just have a little look. So, um, we think he's going to be somewhere down here, which is uh, out of shot. He might be out of shot, did you say, Jilly? So from that point there, do I go left or do I go right? Yeah, I've stopped, I've stopped, I've stopped, I've stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicholas Griffin, welcome back, Nicholas, to Big Jet TV. John Hunt is also uh, returning to Big Jet TV. We believe that that might be Blair uh, at that gate there, folks. So this all Nippon jet, I think he's coming out, isn't he? Is that all Nippon jet coming out? A bit of a, uh, a bit of a lineup at the moment. Hello, Nicholas. Selling Chicago can have snow as early as October. We can wait until November, December to get the first snow. We have a saying: if you don't like the weather, wait an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite interesting because you can see all the snow markers, the depth markers, um, at certain points around the streets, and uh, it is quite, you know, it's like five, six feet in some places. Some of these markers.
we've been here when it's snowing. Carol Watson is a new member. Welcome, Carol. Did yes, yes, yes. No, that wasn't here. That was was that here? It was here. Yes, it was. It was. It was. Yes. <laughs> I had four layers on. Um, it was uh, quite remarkable. Um, laid them all out on the on the bed. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, man. It's like, what are you gonna wear all of that? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's crazy. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Come on, mate. Get in the focus, son. Get in the focus. I want to see some floofage here. Um, no jet lag, Darren. No jet lag at all. This afternoon, I'll start to feel a little bit tighter as the uh, because I'm still my head is still really on UK time. Um, once I'm sort of like up and about. Come on! Uh, Dennis, um, I think that was a three one nine. Don't think that. Uh, Spirit operate the 318, do they? I don't think so, anyway. Yes, 747 Jumbo. It was very Michelin Man esque. Squeaky old door, wasn't it? <laughs> Welcome to my love. Wow, look how long this took. of a departure shot are we oh James Wirtel Frontier oh Frontier was the uh, 318 release customer oh okay oh wow interesting all those years ago Craig Fillinger uh, good day to you Craig uh, we should see um, just keep an eye on uh, what was interesting was uh he told me um, that it's a 10 foot pushback and then they crank it over to the right um, and they've got blast fences there as well to um, to protect anybody in the area. Be Calpan. Stefan M. Seeing off as. Oh! Missed that. Missed that. 757. GP because uh, oh H saying that my inbound flight is an hour late Jilly oh oh okay that doesn't mean that my flight out of here is going to be late it just means it just means that we are going to not catch 
our my inbound flight landing uh, 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 unlikely but they do they do they do you know do their very best to uh, to catch up and also um the uh, the pilot on board the uh flying us into chicago on um when was it monday tuesday um did mention what departure oh my god Aiden Campbell, two 747s inbound, about two o'clock at the Stand Coletta. Uh, yes, Sarah Lancaster back on the 380, but. Uh, The white rooster, they can make up an hour, no problem. Yeah, I've, I've seen it, I've been on it, I've, I've, uh, I've witnessed it um, because, uh, you know, if they've got a tailwind, for example, they can tra 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 track at different altitudes. Um, and, uh, and also there is, a, um, there is a routing, apparently, that uh, Chicago can give the crews. Um, to get down faster, uh, to make up a little bit more time. So, you know. It's, um, I like that, I like that livery. I like that a lot. Paul Skilling, uh, Jerry's flight now, 1640 from Heathrow. Twice, Goop. Is that him there? Is that him there? Wow, is that him there? Is that him there, GP? Nick Gray, thank you. Uh, Claire Bear, I think that's him there, is it? No? Is he moving? Or is... What do you mean this is him here? Oh, him there. Him there. Okay. Okay, here he comes now. Bianca Ricky <laughs> What's that new uh, the new tail livery the cast of East Enders on the tail Oh Sam do we have the supers moving out here in board What's his name, Jilly? 
Oh, C Craig Fillinger. Good day, mate. Love the United delivery. You make my day watching your stream. I have a private pilot. I am a private pilot, sorry. And 30 year bin rat for Southwest Airlines. Keep up the great job. Enjoy your visit over the pond. Thank you, my friend. Great to see you here, Craig. So many um, flight crew. Cabin crew, flight crew. I've got to keep an eye on him because uh, there are a number of uh, American 737s lining up for departure. What's going on? Screaming emu. Hope he have, hope he gets off that awful 737. You snob. Uh, Tom Coogan, uh, Nick Gray, we got him. Mark Luddington, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing okay. Second, uh, he's on the left there, folks. Martin Smith, big jet flight crew TV. <laughs> 737 full of rivets. <laughs> well, would hope so. Rab H, I think I've sorted my chat problem by signing out of Google. Interesting. spending millions on the leap engines for their 737s and so those little down facing wings. Okay, now I, I think I can keep an eye on him. Uh, he's the one in the middle. Because <laughs> I just want to get this touch now. Oh, come on, camera, mate. Screaming Evie's likes flying on them. They're as reliable as trucks. But they're trash flying them. Wow, interesting. Okay, I think that's, uh, I think that's still him there, isn't it? I know there were three there. I think that's him there. He's a second behind the Mitsubishi plane. Um, okay, so, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so there's the Mitsubishi there. I think that's CRJ there. Is that him there turning on? Can't be, no. It's, it's, Okay, that's him there then. A bit confusing because I thought that. Are you sure? Well, we'll know anyway when he when he turns onto the runway. We'll know. Uh, Kenneth. Uh, sorry. Sam Fogg to clear up. Okay, so 737 rolling now. Is he turning on now? He's a lovely fella as well, I have to say. He bought me some Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, just give it a shout out to Grandad Phillips. Grandad Philip, sorry. Okay, Grandad Philip. Great, thank you. Here he goes.
short but sweet. I did ask him if he was going to make a, 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 a tight turn and that wasn't too bad, was it? Have a great flight, my friend. Lovely to see you and thank you again for your Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, folks, um, we are therefore, uh, now we've done that for our great friend and his family and his proud mama. <laughs> um, I'll just put it on because, well, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, yes, folks, thank you so much. Great to see you. And um, we are now going to uh, cut across to our members only. We're all sort of like a. <sighs> Um, so thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and uh, we will see you uh, on the other side of uh, London Heathrow more than likely on, uh, on Sunday. Uh, look after yourselves, be good, uh, be good to those around you, give love and be loved uh, and uh, look after the animals as well. We'll see you in a bit, cheerio! Okay GP, uh, ready to switch. Eric Jacobson has just joined first class. Uh, well, he's going to get on, isn't he? 